Hello and welcome back to Point With Purpose. So I'm just popping on to talk about my two biggest fears in my pumping journey. So as you know, my or may not know who I'm telling you now, <laughs> my first journey, I pumped for nine months and I got pregnant and I knew I wanted to get pregnant. Um, so I worked hard to have an oversupply and I ended up with enough milk to get my first son to having milk for the first year. So I had three months saved up in the freezer and I fed um, him that milk for the remaining three months. And so on my second journey, I started out um, and I was able to have an oversupply within six days. So I got a freezer stash first and then I started giving um, a comfortable freezer stash, just enough, you know, for a few days, just in case. And then I was comfortable enough to give some of my oversupply to my youngest son because there was always that guilt that was there because I didn't give him at least the full year of you know fresh breast milk so it was my personal struggle so now I've been pumping for two years and I'm still giving both boys um my two and three and a half year old express breast milk and so through both journeys real deal holy field like I have two big fears my first fear is self <laughs> was a real fear of getting mastitis. So I always had this fear that I wanted to work through my clogs. When I had clogged ducts, I would try different things. I have different tools now that I use, different products now that I use to help me with clogged ducts when I get them, especially in the beginning. Oh, that time period is a lot. And I was always nervous about, you know, as I was dropping pumps or anything like that. And I'm happy to say that you know, I know everyone doesn't have, you know, that they're not, you know, they do get mastitis overall and they do fine and they're able to, you know, continue with their pumping journey. You know, some may not be able to. And it, for me, that was my biggest fear. That was why I always, you know, was big on getting any issues seen. <laughs> Um, for the first three months, you know, while I was trying to nurse, I saw different lactation consultants. I invested in that in myself, you know, and eventually when I decided to exclusively pump, it was a decision that I didn't take lightly, but it's what made me who I am today. <laughs> so I'm very thankful for this journey. I'm very thankful to be on it. Nothing will change my mind about it. You know, I was so upset, shed plenty of tears, had plenty of mom guilt, had plenty of you know, just thoughts of inadequacy. And then I was like, yeah, this thing isn't so bad. And so through that, I was always determined to work through any concerns that I had through, if that meant trying different products, if that meant, you know, finding out something that I needed to know, I was on a personal mission to do that. That was my first fear. My second fear is real. It's still real to this day. I still struggle with, I am so nervous that one day or any day I'm going to wake up and there will be no milk. Like literally, yeah, it's a real fear for me. I'm just being true, transparent with you. Even through going through my first journey where I knew until I did something to get my milk to stop, I still had milk. <laughs> So I know this, but in my mind, I'm always like, oh my goodness, like, you know, and that's why I'm so sensitive about the products that I use, about, you know, how I go about my, about my pumping journey, how I, you know, integrate the pumps into my pumping journey. It's so important to me. I've tried 35 pumps. I've, you know, used 35 pumps today and still going, still trying them, you know, but if I did it, I've had some great successes with a lot of pumps. So like I said, I started out with my hospital grade pumps and I was using that for the first year, um, well, the first nine months of my first journey and then the first year of my second journey. And then Spectra became like my end all be all, like, oh my goodness, like now I'm trying some great pumps out on the market that is a game changer for pump with purpose, period, point blank. Like, seriously, if I did not give those pumps a try, like, I had like a rebirth in my pumping journey in a way. Like, it's been amazing. It's been wonderful. And it's been something that has 
set me apart to be like, I know that there are some great pumps that if I am not nervous about using them, I use them safely. Like literally it's been absolutely amazing. But a real fear for me is that I'm going to wake up and not have any milk one day. <laughs> so I just, I'm so nervous about it and I'm still doing it. I still do it day after day after day after day. I still get milk. I'm still proud of it. I know that breast milk doesn't have to be all or nothing. I get enough to give them both breast milk during their dinner. They get one meal a day. Um, well, they get more than one meal a day. <laughs> but they get breast milk at one meal a day during the week. It's for dinner because they do breakfast and lunch and snacks at school. So they get breast milk at dinner for dinner on the weekends. And then during, I'm sorry, they get breast milk for dinner du during the week. And on weekends, they get breast milk usually at breakfast, unless my husband's in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> he don't want to wait until I get the breast milk together because I got a system going on. So sometimes I have frozen bag milk. Sometimes I have the milk, you know, in my box, you know, in the collection and pitcher method that I use with the bottle or, you know, my Janobi um, milk boxes or whatever. He, he just confused. <laughs> He, you know, sometimes he'll just put the milk in. So when they come downstairs, everything's already ready. And so then they'll have the breast milk for their lunch or whatever. And so literally, um, I'm just so proud of my journey and so thankful to, you know, still to this day, two years, over two years now and still counting, like my milk is still there. It's still going. And I know that it's from me doing the things that I needed at the beginning and throughout my journey to be able to still have it to this day. Even regardless of what's going on, I make it important to me. And even if like on a day that, you know, I actually accidentally sleep through a pump, I, try, I make it up. Or if, you know, I miss a pump because, you know, just life happens, like I make it up when I can, or I just get back on track the next day. And, you know, occasionally missing or doing something, it's not the end of the world. And so I know this, but it's truly a big fear for me. I, I literally was thinking about it this weekend. Like, what are, what are my pumping fears? And just wanted to talk to you really briefly about two of them. How I manage them is just I continue to do what I know and continue to help people through their feel, fears, through their emotions, through, you know, validating what's going on with them. Because no one can tell you what you feel and how you feel and when you should feel it. <laughs> no one, not even me. I am like validating it all. And then let's talk about a plan to help reaching your pumping goals. My pumping goal was two years. Now, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm just going on to go on. You know, if it's however long I can make it is how I can make it. I'm just still pushing through. So just wanted to pop on, let you know a little bit about two of my biggest fears that still exist and I'm still going because you can still be fearful and still push on like literally day in and day out. I can honestly have those fears and still keep going. So I hope this resonates with someone to be vocal about what your fears are, do what you need to do to get the support that is needed to validate those fears to help get through those fears and just keep pushing forward whatever your goals are so just want to let you know two of mine because this is just the beginning so I would love to know if you've made it to this point I'll also put it in the comments to you know what are your biggest fears in pumping I would really love to know so until next time we'll pump more purpose